Hey guys, what's up? Part A, question five. We need to find the area of the black surface in the following image. Note all curves have same radii. Second point, use value of pi as twenty-two by seven. Okay. So for these types of portion, we need to divide this figure into different parts. These types of portion can be done by various ways. Step one for doing these types of portion is to divide these portions into smaller sections. So here I have divided this figure into various smaller sections. So one, two, three, and four. I know that if I combine these four, these four parts, I'll get a semicircle. So this is the figure we will get if we combine one, two, three, four. We will get a semicircle and a rectangle. If we find the area of the rectangle and then subtract the area of the semicircle, we can get the area of these black figures. This externally attached black figure. We can get areas of these four figures. So we know that the area of a semicircle is pi times r square by two. The area of these four semicircles is equal to seventy-seven. Now the area of rectangle is l into b. Here length is seven, and seven plus seven is fourteen. So fourteen into seven is ninety-eight, which is the area of rectangle. And now, if we subtract area of rectangle by area of semicircle, we'll get the area of one, two, three, four. We observe that these figures are also similar to one, two, three, four. So, if we multiply is by two, twenty-one by two, we get the area of all the parts which are colored or written any number with green. Now, the remaining section. Is is this triangle? This triangle? This triangle? This triangle? For finding out the area of the triangle, you can either combine these figures. You might observe it to form a rectangle. The answer will come out to be ninety-eight. Now, by simply adding the area of the triangle plus the area of the shaded curve region which we have calculated, we can get the final area of the black surface. Thank you for watching. Peace.